Hey guys, so I am filming this video which is so out of my comfort zone. Um, I've never really filmed anything like this and I sort of don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> But I'm still going to do it anyways. Um, today is a Sunday. I went to church earlier today and I came home and I ate and I slept. Then I woke up and um, that's kind of why I look like this. Um, I just have on a little bit of makeup, nothing full glam. Um, and I'm just wearing a little hoodie and a messy bun. So I don't look like I normally look on this channel, which is super glam most of the time. This is my more natural makeup look. But, um, that is totally besides the point of this video because I kind of felt called to do this and that may sound crazy to a lot of people. Um, if you are not a Christian or if you've never felt a calling, um, from God to do something, then definitely wouldn't understand the phenomena. Not that you won't ever be able to understand it because everything comes with time. But I certainly felt called to make this video, and I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty quick, short video, to the point, easy, but it's just a message that I myself need to be reminded of, and that I want to remind other people of. And what I want to tell you right now is that there's no such thing as a perfect Christian. And you may be thinking in your head, um, wrong, there is. You can be a perfect Christian by um, saving sex for marriage, by dressing modestly, by never saying bad words, by not watching anything inappropriate, by reading your Bible 24-7, by going to church every Sunday and Wednesday and Sunday night and blah, 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 blah. Immediately in your mind when I said there's no such thing as a perfect Christian, I know some of you started listing things that you would define as a perfect Christian or characteristics of a perfect Christian. And here's what I want to say to you is that a perfect Christian does not exist. Perfect Christian is not a thing, you guys. Pastors, they are not perfect Christians. Wives of pastors, husbands of pastors, they are not perfect Christians either. Nobody is a perfect Christian. There's no such thing as that. And that may seem like a foreign concept, but here's what I've got to tell you guys. We are all sinners. Literally all of us. As much as we try to live our life without sin, sin is part of who we are. That's why Jesus came and died for us, you guys, because sin is wicked. We cannot stop ourselves from sinning. It is just ingrained in us. It is part of who we are. And that's why God's grace and his mercy and Jesus's love for us of him dying so, so violently on the cross for us is so important because there's absolutely no way we could ever be perfect enough to go to heaven to have God's grace, to get his mercy. Nobody would ever be perfect enough for that. Literally nobody. Not the pastor, not the preacher, not anybody else who, nobody, okay? There's no perfect Christian ever. If ands or buts aside, no perfect Christian. And I'm so sick of other Christians, of non-believers, of people of a different faith, putting such a harsh, um, putting such a harsh confinement on Christians and of Christians putting it on other people and Christians putting it on themselves and to other Christians. Basically, here's the thing. We're all judgmental people. And if you say you're not judgmental, you are. We're all doing it. It's all a part of us. Like I said, sin is so ingrained in us that there, it's very hard for us. And actually, I think it's impossible for us not to judge naturally. I judge all the time. I do it and it's a bad part of me and I pray right after I make judgments I say God help me not to judge this person or judge this thing God because I am not perfect like that no one is and when we constantly are saying well that girl she's probably not a Christian because look at how she's dressed or that guy oh my gosh he slept around before you know he was married he could never be a Christian or, oh my gosh, like, they're gay, then they're not Christians. Yes, they are. If you identify as a Christian, if you love God, if you love Jesus, and you believe that Jesus came and saved this world, you are a Christian. And in God's eyes, you are a perfect Christian. Because God doesn't love 
anybody more than he loves anybody else, if that makes sense. God sees us all as perfect kids. If you're a parent, which I'm not, I am only 16 years old, so I am not a parent as of right now, <laughs> um, you probably would not be able to, and I really, really hope you're not able to determine a favorite child, okay? Because you love them so equally. And this kind of comes from the movie um, The Shack, which is like a Christian movie that has been really popular this past, I think this past year. And um, in this movie, they're talking about judgment and this guy, he's going through this whole spiritual thing with God and his two, I think it's, it's his, two, yeah, his two kids are sat down in front of him and all their sins are put on display. And God asked him, choose which one of your children you want to condemn to eternal damnation but he couldn't do it one kid was sneaking out one kid was lying one kid was doing this one kid was doing that but at the end of the day they were both doing things wrong and on top of that even if one's sins were so much worse than the others which isn't even a thing anyways but if in your eyes it was or something you still wouldn't be able to pick which one of your children you know what I mean? And that's how God sees us. We're all his children. Even people who don't, who don't love him right now, who hate him. God loves them. God loves them just as much as he loves me or the pastor of my church or any Tom, Sue, Bobby, whatever down the street, okay? God loves us all. And there's no such thing as a perfect Christian. No such thing, guys. So stop putting yourself on that level. Stop acting like you're the perfect Christian. And also stop acting like you're horrible, okay? Because you comparing yourself to other people, people you see on Instagram, these wonderful people around the world who are doing great deeds, you know, like, that is a great thing. And you should be so proud of yourself. And God loves when you spread his word and do things that please him and follow his law. But just because you don't, just because you slip up, you mess up, and you have worldly desires, it doesn't mean you're not a perfect Christian. So there's no such thing as a good Christian. There's no such thing as a perfect Christian, okay? Because by judging someone and saying they're not a perfect Christian, we're just as bad as the sin we're judging. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's all equal. Being, being this or that, in God's eyes, a sin is a sin. And God knows we're all sinners. And because... That's just the truth of the matter. And that is why Jesus came and died for us. So I just wanted to remind you guys this, that, you know, try your hardest not to just be like, <laughs> I doubt they're a Christian because of the way they're dressed. Try hard not to do that. And also try hard not to talk to yourself and be like, well, am I really a Christian because I just did this or that? Of course you're still a Christian. If you believe, if you feel that, that guilt is not from God, you guys. That guilt of not being a perfect, perfect Christian is not from God. God's only things are good feelings and guilt does not come from God at all. And God doesn't want us to feel that way. He doesn't want us to feel like we have to be perfect because we never will be. And if you seek perfection in your actions, your looks, your job, your, your school, your grades, your whatever, then you'll never reach it because the only way to feel completely fulfilled and perfect is by realizing you are a child of God, you guys. And God loves us all. And I just invite you, if you never considered like looking into Christianity or God or the Bible, or if you have and you hate it, or if you, you know, whatever it is, just try it because you never know when God will finally reach out and touch you because God's, God's sitting there. He's, he's watching you right now and he's waiting and he's so excited that you're even watching this video and he loves you so, so much. And if you could just take that leap of faith and just do it and just trust in him and go on this spiritual walk, your life will be forever changed. And I guarantee you, your life will be so much better because God will be on your mind all the time and he'll be in your actions and your spirit. And you know what, even when you mess up and when you slip up, you're just as perfect to God as anyone else who doesn't have that sin because everyone sins. No one is not a sinner and we should never hold ourselves to that standard and we should never hold other people to that standard. 
Okay guys, so that was all I wanted to say for this video. This is definitely different for me, but I really wanted to talk more about my faith on my channel because it is so important to me. So um, I felt like I needed to make this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. So I hope you guys have a wonderfully blessed day and um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my other social media and just have a blessed day guys. And just live your life knowing that no matter what, you are loved.